In this video, we are going to see how to connect GST addressable detectors on the loop and how to program these detectors. So, programming is nothing but how to set the address on these detectors. So, first we will see what are the types of detectors we have in GST addressable fire alarm system. So, basically there are three types of detectors are available. One is multi-function detector, second one is smoke detector and third one is heat detectors. So, here the part code DI9101E is multi-function detector and DI9102E is a smoke detector and DI9103E is a heat detector. So the base for all these three detector is DB01. So first we will see how to terminate this detector base on the loop. So if we take the detector base there will be a pin details will be printed on that detector base itself like 1, 2, 3, 4 and the loop in so the cable comes from the panel will get connected so on pin number 1 and 3 on this particular base so 1 is positive and 3 is negative so loop in and out positive is pin number 1 loop in and out negative is pin number 3 so these are the loop terminals on this particular base this is common for all three types of detectors multi smoke and heat detector in some cases if my detector is a above fall ceiling then i want to connect the response indicator then the response indicator will be connected on pin number two and four here two is positive and pin number four is negative or ground so now we will see how to set address on this detector so to set the address on this detector if you see the detector detector will have pin details like 1, 2, 3, 4. So what we need to do? We should have a GST programming tool. The part code is P9910B. We have, we, we have to this programmer. So what we need to do? So we, we will, it comes with a programming lead like this. So what we need to do? So there is no such polarity. Take these two pins, connect between pin number 1 and pin number 3. So there is no such polarity. It should be pin number 1 and 3. Then on the programming tool, just press clear. Now the display will be 0. Now if you want to see what is the address on this particular detector, you can just press test so that it will check and give the address on this particular detector. Now if you want to program some address onto this particular detector, just press clear. Then just whatever number if you want to set as 5 just click 5 and then click program so that if you, you will get as p p means it's got programmed sometimes you will get a message as e that means error that is there is some issue on the connectivity or some other issue so that means the programming is not done so if we get a message as p means the address is properly programmed now if we want to reconfirm the address again press clear and click test so that we can confirm that whatever the address we programmed is properly set on the detector so this is the same procedure for all multi smoke and heat detector so now we will see how to program a uh, gst addressable manual call point so so manual call point if you see physically on the back side it will be printed as is a don is a two and is a don't and is a two so that means we can it, it is nothing but loop in and loop out so first is a don't and is a two is the loop in and second is a don't and is a two is our loop out so it will comes with a connector we can terminate it on this so is a don't is always we are maintaining as plus is a two as ground that is in and another is a don and is a two is out so loop in and loop out will be connected like this and to set the address on this particular uh, manual call point what we need to do just connect that uh, programming tool between any is a don and any is a two so these are the two pins you have to connect the programming tool so is a don and is a two you need to connect the programming tool just switch on this programming tool now if you want to see the address click test it will show whatever the existing address 
so if it is not showing that means there is a error on this connection so what need to do check the connection once again and then test it it is it should show the correct address whatever programmed already if you want to clear it and if you want to set some other address plus clear and if i am programmed to give six and click program so that we will we should get as p as programmed to confirm again clear and click test and that address will be showing so when we talk about gst addressable detectors or addressable system in in loop we can that means in the first loop we can connect maximum 235 devices that means from address 1 to 235 any address we can set on any device so and in loop 2 the first loop it should be with 235 devices and second loop it will support up to 242 devices so loop 1 235 and loop 2 242 devices will be supported by a gst 200 panel so <clears throat> uh, any address you can set any address onto this device so even it can be any detector it can be any device or it can be a module whatever may be so you can set the address range from 1 to 235 for first loop and 1 to 242 for loop 2 and so when you uh, <coughs> take the mcb it we will get a reset key also along with this in case if some if anybody activate the mcb that means if you press this mcb so it will get activated now if you want to reset it we have a reset key so we need to insert that uh, key into this and rotate in a clockwise direction so that it will get resetted so now we will see gst addressable sounder come stroke so in gst there are two part codes are available one as gst addressable sounder the part code is i9404 and the other part code is i9403 which is sounder come strobe so based on the customer need we can give only sounder or sounder come strobe so it will come along with the base so how to program the same way all gst addressable devices uh, connected with pin number z1 and z2 so we need to connect the uh, programming tool on uh, pin number Z1 and Z2 and as I said earlier we can easily set the required address to this particular sounder or sounder comes true. So when we talk about the termination part so if you see this uh, base it will have uh, Z1, uh, Z2 as well as D1 and D2 also available. So what need to do how to connect the loop in and, uh, and loop out will be on z1 and z2 itself so that means so loop one loop in plus and plus loop in plus and loop out plus will get connected on z1 and loop in minus and loop out minus will get connected on z2 on this particular base and when we connect this we have to take a small bit of wire and connect Z1 with D1 pin and Z2 with D2 pin to give this uh, power to this particular sounder or sounder comes true. So that is mandatory. So Z1 will be shorted with a D1 and Z2 will short with a bit of wire with D2. So now we will see uh, how to connect and configure gst addressable input module the part code is di9300 e so this is a input module that latest model comes from gst so di9300 e and which will have z1 z2 as in and z1 z2 as out so z1 in is nothing but loop in and out is nothing but loop out so we need to connect the loop cable on these terminals and so input i and g clearly printed here so the input module the need of input module is to monitor the third party device and update to my panel so like water flow switch or any third party devices whichever give a potential free contact nonc contact need to be connected on this particular terminal so i and g so by default 
these two terminal will be connected with end of line resistance it comes with the module itself the value is 4.7 kilo ohms so we have to if it is from a third party panel if example it's a water flow deductor will have a uh, potential free output common no and nc we need to take common and no and get connected with these two terminals there is no polarity on that so normal condition since it is common and no the module will get this value of resistance to be monitored in these two uh, pins and when this water flow deductor get activate or the external device relay get activate a common no will change into common nc so that these two terminals will get shorted each other so that it based on that the module will goes into alarm mode or fault mode whatever way we configuring so to program these devices so now we see how to set the address on this particular module so z1 and z2 i just connected with a small bit of wire uh, for your programming it is not necessary to connect such wires and all you can simply can I attach this programming tool pins on z one and z2 pins on this particular module and you can do the programming so i just connected it like this and now to set the address or check the address click test you can see what what is the address onto this if you want to clear the address you can clear it and you what if whatever number you want just click and click press program so that you can set the program address onto this module so now <coughs> this module can be used in uh, two mode one is normally open monitoring that that is the default monitoring that means uh, the input i and g will get connected on common and no terminal of third party device some cases example i have a fire exit door i have a, i connected a door sensor onto that which normally give common nc when the door is in close those uh, cases if required i can change this module type uh, input monitoring type from common no to common nc also so that means i can change it how i can change it uh, just click 4 5 6 clear function 3 you will get a dash line here now if you press 1 and press program so that this module will be uh, programmed as or it will monitor a common nc input that means if the input uh, wire which we are connecting between this terminal will be common nc in normal condition when it change into no the module will goes uh, uh, into alarm mode so that is the way we can program it by default it is common no mode we don't want to do anything uh, if i want to change it into common nc i can easily change it by using this programming mode if we want to change it back to the again old setting the same way four five sorry clear it four five six clear function three you will get the line any other number other than one if you press and click program it will again back to common in no mode.